So here's a little bit, bit of information about chimney flashing. The corner, the, the sides are easy to flash. You just put a fold in the uh, metal and slap it up in there, tuck it into the mortar joint, cut that out with a diamond blade, and overlap them. On new construction, this piece and this piece should be separate because the roof will the settle and the chimney won't. But an old construction like this, this house is 170 years old, all the settling has taken place. So you see the original flashing was in two pieces. The new flashing is in one piece. Uh, we don't have to be concerned about the roof settling any, anymore to the extent that it'll pull on the flashing. Now, the sides are easy to flash. The corners are what always leaks. We're on the edge of the house. We only have one corner here to look at. But what you have, there are two ways to, to flash these corners. One is to fold the flashing. The other is to solder it. Well, in this case, we have a folded corner. Water running down the roof can't go into the corner because it's diverted by this piece of flashing here that runs the water away from the corner. Water that runs down the chimney can't get into the corner either because this is wrapped around, tucked in, and the water runs away from the corner. The corner is down, up, down inside here, and essentially we build a roof over it. That keeps the water out of there, keeps the corner dry, and it keeps the chimney leak proof. It's very common for people who aren't experienced at flashing chimneys to not understand this, this simple uh, technique. You have to either fold or solder the corners to keep them from leaking. You can't just put a dab of caulk in there and expect to, to have a leak proof chimney flashing. Notice the cleat on the apron. This is a strip of copper that runs up here. It's nailed underneath there, folded over the apron to hold the apron down there so there are no exposed fasteners. The, the uh, copper is folded into the mortar joint after it's been cut out, and then it's wedged in place with a, a little strip of copper so similar to this. You can fold it up, and stick it in there, and shove it in with a uh, chisel to wedge to wedge this copper in place and then caulk it to finish it off. This copper and the caulk uh, are all available at slateroofwarehouse.com.